that's where we're going today. But first, breakfast. Good morning from the Pyramids of Giza. We are standing in front of the Great Pyramid and as many of you may know, this is not only a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but it is the oldest wonder of the world and the only one that is still standing to this day. These pyramids were built between 2600 and 2500 BC, which makes them 5,000 years old. Crazy to think about. And this is really only the top of the day. We have a full day of tourist stuff ahead, seeing a bunch of different pyramids, going to a number of different sites. So let's crack on. From here you can get an incredible view of all three pyramids. So going from left to right, you have the Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu. You then have the Pyramid of Khafre. And then the little one is the Pyramid of Menkaure. These pyramids were all built as tombs for the pharaohs and their families. Just over my right shoulder is the iconic Great Sphinx, which was still built in several millennia BC, which is crazy to think about. As for whose face is actually on this, rumor has it that it's actually the face of Khafre, whose tomb is only about a few hundred meters up the road. We are now here in Saqqara, which was the capital of ancient Egypt. Saqqara, along with the Great Pyramid Complex of Giza, where we were this morning, they both make up, along with other parts, the pyramid field of Memphis. Among many tombs and pyramids in this particular area, this is actually home to the oldest pyramid ever created, which is a step pyramid dedicated to the pharaoh Joseph. And that pyramid predates literally every other one that we have seen so far. Apparently this was built in the third dynasty, which potentially puts this at well over 5,000 years old, which is an insane concept when you think about it.
going into the tomb of Kajemni, I'm just so impressed by how well it's preserved. The hieroglyphics really tell a story of their daily life, what they did, the fishing, the farming, and it was really how they recorded their history. Absolutely. You see, oh, the funniest sign like this is the fact that not only were you able to see all of the current reliefs and everything like that to be able to get that story, it's even to the point where it is so well preserved, you can even still see the pigments on it. You can yeah. still see the exact colours that were used back, back when this was initially inscribed. So it's just, it's phenomenal so far. We are now at the Memphis Open Air Museum. Memphis was the first capital of ancient Egypt and was founded by King Meni. just got back to the hotel after a jam-packed day. I can't believe that we saw the pyramids of Giza, we went to an essential oils place, we saw Saqqara, we went to Memphis, we ended up going to a place where they make papyrus. It was just incredible and you said this was a dream for you. It really was. I mean I've been reading about ancient Egypt since I was a kid and so this was really a dream realised. It's amazing to even just be here. And the reason that you may not have seen too much of me today though is unfortunately I've been struggling with a bit of a stomach bug so I have not been at my best at all. I hope I'm feeling better soonish but definitely um, was trying to sort of focus more on just getting through the day rather than anything else unfortunately. You have been a trooper. But, um, but yeah, I think that's about it for now. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Mm -hmm.